Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have seen the architecture of the Selenium grid. Now we will see how do we do it practically on into this video. Okay, so what we will do first, first we have to create one class. So right now I will create a class into my package. So I will do a right click, new and class. So right now I am just creating a class into public static void main but if you are using a test ng or junit you can create a class there also. So I can give any name here so I will give as my grid okay and public static void main I will put a check mark and click on finish. All right. So now uh, it will create a blank class for me with one method called public static void main. So the first thing I need to do is to create the configuration on which I need to run my script. Okay. So here I am just doing, you know, a simple configuration. But if you want, you can control that configuration either from some parameters, from some Excel file, property file, or from, you know, even from testng.xml. Okay, if you're using a test ng, but here I am just showing you the concept how a script can be run on different machine. So what I will do if you see in my, you know, diagram, okay, we have desired capabilities. So first we have to set the desired capabilities here for the uh, OS or for the browser on which I need to run. So for that in Selenium, there is a class called desired capabilities. So I will just type desired. So I have just pressed control space so that it can write it automatically. Okay, it's freezing. Just give a moment. Desired capabilities. All right. And I can give a name here. Like I can give something like caps and then equal to new desired capabilities okay so i have created a object of desired capabilities let's see if what's the error it's giving first it says i need to import that so we can import that out all right so now what i can do i can call this object and one second let's see okay all right so i can put its name as caps cap all right. So if I do CAP dot after that, there is a method which says set browser name. So I can use here set browser name. So there are many capabilities which you can give. I am just giving you the minimum capabilities which can allow me to run my scripts on the different machines. So right now I'm giving the capability as Chrome because I want to run on the Chrome browser. OK, and then I can give capability dot set platform so I need to specify which platform I need to run okay so here I can give platform dot so it's a platform class and I can you know choose anything from here so I am choosing Windows 10 all right so what I have did I have given the capabilities here so my capabilities has been defined now okay and now I have to use my remote web driver because if you remember in Selenium, we always give something like web driver driver equal to new Firefox, Firefox driver or new Chrome driver, right? So what uh, that uh, string means that web driver is my interface and Firefox is my class. So whenever we want to, you know, run it on the single machine, we directly can give Firefox driver or, you know, a Chrome driver. But whenever we want to use a Selenium grid, we have to use a remote web driver, which is also a parent of the Chrome web driver. So we have to use the remote web driver class and this remote web driver class has the implementation of the web driver so for that first I will uh, what I will do I will give web driver driver equal to new remote web driver okay and this remote web driver takes two of takes two things like two parameters so first it takes the URL of my server Okay, the server, you know, the nodes, the server, this is a server, let me just show you. Okay, this is a server. So remote web driver takes the URL of the server so that the server can decide which machine the script needed to be run. 
okay and here I have to also pass the capabilities so I can pass capability onto this all right let's see what is the error it is giving so okay uh, I have to give D here driver I need to import it okay so that's imported and I need to import remote web driver so that is also imported now all right so now we have done this and one more thing so we have given the URL here but we have not set up the URL till now so what we need to do we need to give the URL of our server so for that what I can do I can give URL I can create an object of the URL and I will create a variable here like with the name URL equal to new URL okay and here I need to give the URL so for now I'm keeping it as blank I'm not giving any URL here okay because we need to see what is a URL which I need to give so right now I'm just importing it okay and it says I need to add the throw declaration I am doing it and malfunction URL exception so that is the exception which I need to provide at the top because uh, you know my code believes that you know this can give me an error and give me an exception so I am just doing that okay so now the configuration has been done it is just one URL which we have not given yet we will give this later on when we will set up our server and we will set up the node okay now I can just you know uh, do my usual script so I will give driver.get and here I can give I can open anything so I can open my google.com website okay so here I have opened google.com website and I can maybe type its title so I will give system.out.println and here I can give title is driver dot get title okay all right and in the end I will give driver dot close all right so this is my complete script which I need to run now one important concept once we write our script we also have to make sure like in the diagram we have to set up a server and we have to set up this virtual machine okay so right now we are setting the server on our local machine so what we need to do we have to go okay so first we have to download these jar file this jar file which I was talking about we have to download this so if you have not downloaded you can directly go here let me open that dot Google Okay, wait. Huh? I'm just opening it. www. Okay, so I am going to Google here. Okay, and then you can type download Selenium. server so I can go to selenium HQ website which is the main website of selenium which you know already okay in this selenium website it says selenium server standalone so you can just click on that okay so you know for running the selenium I can either you know uh, download this Java files or I can either download this server standalone and I can run my scripts on that so right now I am currently using this already into my code so I don't have to download it but in case you have not downloaded it just download this server jar file by clicking on this okay so let me show you the place where I have downloaded so it's C drive and softwares okay and if you see here the selenium server standalone is downloaded and on the same place I have placed my chrome driver also okay so this standalone is downloaded so what I will do now I will try to run the standalone with the role of server okay with the role of hub so how would I do that so I can just go to command prompt okay 
and here I need to type the command to run this file. So what I will do, I have already written down this command for running the hook in which we have to do java minus jar. Okay, and then I have to give my jar file name and then role equal to hub. So I will just copy this and I will paste it here. Okay, so it will go ahead and run my server. Okay, so if you see here now my server is running, it says my server is running on the port 4444. Correct, and this is something which has created client should connect to this. So what we can give, we can give this URL into our code. Okay. Let me just copy this. And I will write it here also. URL to provide in code okay so I will write this down in the description section so that you can see that you know what are the commands which we have passed all right so I will just copy this and I will go to here and I will write the URL here okay so my server is up and running now okay but now what the next thing we have to do we have to set up the client we have to set up these nodes right so what we have to do because I don't have another machine right now so I am doing it on the same machine I am running the node on the same machine all right so I will in create another instance of the command prompt okay and now I will run that into a role of a node so for that we have a command here which says Java okay and then we have to give the driver exe path okay so I am giving a driver exe path so that my machine will know that you know I need to run on the Chrome driver so I am giving my driver exe path and after that the same thing minus jar like we have given before and my jar file name okay and uh, above you have seen that it says a role equal to hub but I will give role equal to node okay and after that I need to register it so I, for registering it what I need to do I can give the same path or my server like 4444 and after that I will give grid register okay so I'm just copying this entire thing so don't worry about that you can also copy that from the description or you can just learn it and I can just go to my command from again and I will run it again okay so now if you see here Okay, what does it say? Registering the node to hub. So it is registering it. The node is registered to the hub and ready to use. So that's mean now my nodes are ready to use. So there is another command in which you can see the server if my server is running or not. So for that you can copy this command which is hub server will be running on this. Okay, it grid console. Let me see if it's gift here or not. Something like that. Uh, no, it has not given here. So that is okay. We can just copy this command and we can go to this URL and we can see. See, now my console is running and there is one hub which is configured. If there are more hub, it will show you, you know, in the sequence. So right now my one hub is configured with in this machine. Okay, so now the configuration, this configuration. We have already configured this, we have configured server, we have configured node. I just need to run my code. So what I will do, okay, so first of all, so this was my server, okay, I will just put it here. And this is my client, my node I will put it here and now I will try to run it and as soon as you run it you will see that you know my commands are interacting with the server and this server is giving command to this so you will see all the logs here which are provided so I will do a right click run as and run as Java application okay so let me just open two of them okay Okay, so, okay, so let's see, in console nothing has run yet, okay, 
Did it run or no? It should have run. Oh, it's not run yet. Okay, let me just check. Okay, so it's trying to run something, right? It's trying to run the Google. And if we see here, you can see the capabilities which we are passing, we can see here. And see, it says only local connections allowed. So this is the same, you know, uh, logs which we get onto our console. So this server is giving command to this. Okay, this server is giving command to this node. All right. So it has given one error. Wait, huh? we have maybe we have to run again. All right, so I have clicked it run twice, so that's the reason it gives an error. But we can see that you know now I have got in the second run, I have got something get printed, and it has run on these node. So if you see here, the commands you know which has been passed on to here onto this client. So if you want to see here, it, you can see all the capabilities, you know, which we have given and it has opened up, you know, the Chrome browser here. And if you look onto the server also, okay, so this is my server, which has give, given the command. So you can see that the capabilities has been passed through the server and the server has created a session also. Okay. Okay, so trying to create a new session. So this is the way my server gives a command to the you know my client which is available and on the basis of that it run the scripts on Selenium Grid. Okay, so here uh, I have shown you the simplest way only few lines of code through which you can implement the Selenium Grid. But when you're implementing in your Selenium project, you do not give under this void main. Okay, because there what you can do, you can configure multiple nodes, you have to configure multiple nodes. And according to that, maybe you have to parameterize it if you want to, you know, run on different uh, machines on different browsers. And you can give this parameterization through test and XML also or maybe through an excel file or a property file so for those configuration or uh, for parameterizing there's already some uh, you know videos given in the test ng which you can look but this is a simple concept just to make you understand how the grid works how the server and client works but on the basis of a requirement you can you know create a utility or maybe create a parameterization onto your test ng.xml okay so in next video now i will tell you what how we have to run these selenium grid or run the scripts on different virtual machine using cloud so there are different uh, cloud uh, servers given like there's a browser stack there's a source lab which is provided so we will use one of them we will use browser stack to know how to run this uh, you know uh, different uh, scripts on different machines on the cloud all right so thank you for watching this video